It will be 20 years in October since the U.S. launched those first airstrikes on al-Qaeda targets in Afghanistan. And tomorrow, President Biden will announce the 2,500 U.S. troops still there will be home by the 9-11 anniversary. We went in for two reasons, and that is to uh, defeat al-Qaeda and to kill Osama bin Laden. Uh, you'll never really totally get rid of al-Qaeda. They're like ISIS or any other terror group. There are cells around the world. But we basically accomplished both of those missions, Jay. Meanwhile, we've had over 4,500 troops killed, over 20,000 wounded. But the objective has been achieved. It is time to come home. The majority of senators, majority of congressmen uh, agree with pulling troops out. That's been true for some time. I will tell you this, though, the willingness of those who are willing to say it, Jay, it depends on the president that's announcing it. You heard a lot of senators who were silent when President President Trump began this process, who are now applauding this decision. That, that That's probably political, but there are several who have been consistently in favor of this. Pentagon leaders want to avoid what happened in Iraq in 2011, when Biden oversaw the Obama administration's decision to end the war, pull all U.S. troops out, then have to return three years later to fight ISIS. His concern about total withdrawal, Wes, is letting al-Qaeda and ISIS come back in those regions. When you look at our intelligence assets on the ground, you look at our ability with overflight and satellite imagery to see what's going on, you look at the capabilities of special operations forces, which can be sent in and sent out very quickly, and airstrikes, uh, it's, it's a different situation. Uh, we have the capability to monitor Afghanistan and to go in and make strategic attacks to, to defeat possible terrorist cells and camps in a way that we did not 20 years ago.